The Nile is a river that draws together many lives of people in 11 countries. It is a water source that is behind industries and agriculture in Africa mainly. In Uganda, the river covers an expansive distance and it has several natural resources like vegetation that includes papyrus and suds, fish and wild animals that live there like crocodiles and hippos. The river is a living system like any living system and if it is abused, it can die. The, the uh, imagine a scenario where everybody is utilizing the water uh, for irrigation inefficiently. The withdrawal is so much. Uh, the minimum environmental flow required to sustain the, the river and the associated ecosystems would be completely depleted. The Nile in Uganda takes its course through Lake Victoria and moves upwards to Lake Choga, then turns northwest to Lake Albert, where it proceeds to cross into Sudan. But along the river is an area that is often referred to as a basin, and here many communities have settled and made good use of the ever-flowing water. Uganda, predominantly being an agriculture country, relies on growing food and cash crops. And because the soils around the lake tend to be fertile, they have acted as farms for the crops. The way the, the agriculture is carried out, different agriculture practices, leave the river exposed to sedimentation as a result of erosion from the agriculture fields. Because cultivation runs up to almost the river bank, even if we have um, regulations under the National Environment Management Authority that we should not cultivate up to the river banks, but cultivation goes up to the river banks, which results in um, sedimentation as a result of erosion. So that sort of threatens the river as increased sedimentation um, slows the flow, the natural flow of the river. This leads to a destruction of the banks along the river and because of poor drainage systems in the country, many industries are set up along the banks which makes it easy for them to pour effluents into the river. In addition, there has been um, release of effluents into the river um, thereby causing um, um, pollution. Also, the destruction of wetlands along the banks of the river it means that effluents just go straight into the river, so that causes um, a level of pollution. River Nile has been blessed with abundant amounts of water and high tides with many falls along the river. This, as a result, has attracted electricity generators to set up dams along the river. But... Does this affect the river in any way? That means that we might lose the beauty that is associated with the, the falls or even the rapids. But in terms of the amount of water, because once the water goes through the, the dam, it goes back to the river. So there is no net loss in terms of um, uh, amount of water in the river. Because the river flows from one country to the other, there are general factors like climate change that cannot be controlled, which too have affected the river. Climate change will definitely exacerbate the severity of hydrological extremes such as floods and droughts. For example, climate change can increase erosion and excessive erosion in the upstream countries will definitely reduce the storage capacity in the downstream countries. Because of this, there is a need for countries that share the river to come together and work on cooperative ways of maintaining the natural state of the river. Craig Kadoda, NTV, Ecotalk.